السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله ما بعد ولكم برادر سيسترز in this new episode of our program Lights of Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم We spoke uh, yesterday about the hadith that الشفاء في ثلاث the healing in three things and we mentioned and we emphasized a point that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a shafi is the curer only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is not allowed to seek the shifa from anyone other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but these, these things I mean honey, cupping, black seed, uh, the midst all of them are kinds of treatments not shifa let's go forward in this hadith the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned the first thing a drink of honey he mentioned the healing is three things then he mentioned number one a drink of honey Honey, al-asal, or al-shahd in Arabic. Honey is a, a tasty, it is a very sweet drink or a kind of food. It comes from the bees, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the bees in the Quran. And there is a full chapter, it's called Surah Al-Nahl, the chapter of bees. Subhanallah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us which comes what what comes out of the stomach of the fees of the bees, shifa wa ilaj is a treatment for the people, subhanallah. And if you notice, brothers and sisters, in this hadith, the Prophet وسلم, said, Sharbat Asal, a drink of honey. So usually we say I like to eat honey. I'm going to eat a spoon of honey. Okay, but in the hadith says a drink of honey. So as if the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying, it is better and it is good to dissolve the honey in the water, then you drink it. It will be more beneficial. It's okay if you like to eat the honey by the spoon, this is okay. But if you make it as a liquid, then you drink it, I mean, if you dissolve the honey in the water, more benefits you that you will get from the honey. So this is from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. From where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam brought this uh, rule or this benefit or this point? Because he's getting the the wahi from Allah, the revelation from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Everything from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a wahi, is a revelation. As Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says in the Quran, in huwa illa wahiun yuha. Whatever comes from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a revelation, is from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. I mean, our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a human being, yes. But he is getting the information or what is called wahi, the revelation from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So if you ask from where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave us this information, from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So if you like to take the honey, try to t- to dissolve it then you drink it and if you notice in the hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said sharbat asal okay a drink of honey which kind of honey is it um, cedar honey is it uh, uh, acacia honey is it uh, manoka honey is it uh, uh, the 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 Different, you know, the, there are many types of honey, okay? The Prophet وسلم, did not specify any one of them. So all types of honey are useful. Don't think that only this kind of honey is useful or the other one. All of them are useful because the Prophet ﷺ did not specify anyone. Yes, maybe this kind has more minerals or it is good for the immunity and the other one is good for the, the weight and the other one good for the kids and the third one is good for the diabetic people or 
okay, or the, the, the percentage of sugar less or the calories? Yes, different types. Why? Because according to what, wh where the, 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 the bees go. Maybe the bees go to the flowers of this kind of flowers uh, or to that type of trees or you feed the honey, the, the bees some kind of food. Of course, the honey will be different, but still it is honey. So all the types of honey are useful. All the types of honey are useful. But we need, we, we, we need to be careful that the honey should be uh, pure and clean because sometimes the, some microbes enter the honey, okay, and this can cause a problem, specifically the kids. Always doctors recommend uh, not to uh, give the honey for the kids less than one year. It is not because honey is uh, bad for them. It is not because the honey is harmful for the kids less than one year, but because they are afraid that the honey is not clean, the honey is not pure. So if there are microbes in this honey, it will cause a serious problem for the kids. So honey is something very good for the human beings, kids or adults. But why we, uh, some doctors say we should avoid the honey for the kids less than one year because there is a possibility for a specific kind of, uh, of bacteria to be inside the honey and this will cause a trouble for the, for the, uh, for the kids. So to be safe, you, ca you can avoid, okay, uh, according to the advice of some uh, doctors. Talk about honey is a very important topic, okay? And we should be also careful. Why? Because as I said, honey is a kind of sweetener. So those people who are diabetic should be careful. I mean, it is not enough to say, Allah mentioned the honey in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the honey in the Quran. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned the honey in the sunnah, in the hadith. So I, I, I will take the honey. I will drink honey. I don't care. Habibi, you are diabetic. Okay, and this can cause a serious problem for you. You should be careful. Okay, if we, if we, if we, if we say, uh, we will not say don't take honey, but it should be in a certain amount for the diabetic people. Maybe very small amount, 10 grams or 15 grams, twice or thrice a day. I mean, you should be careful because not everything, I mean, not everything which is halal is allowed for the, uh, for uh, all people. For example, there is a hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was eating kind of food, the, uh, the, the fresh dates, the fresh date uh, fruits, the soft one, which is called rutab. Then Ali radiallahu ta'ala wanted to eat, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, don't eat now. This is not good for you. Why? Because he was, he was sick. He was, he was sick. Okay. So now you are getting bitter and bitter. So it is not good for you to eat the dates now, or the the, the soft dates now. So not everything good is good for all people. Okay. You should be careful. Okay. And you should ask the specialized people to be in the safe side. May Allah subhanahu wa taala protect you. See you tomorrow. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.